Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Apple Freeform, two standout tools in the visual collaboration space. I'll break down their features, user experience, integrations, pricing, and more. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one suits your team's needs. And after watching this video, if you choose to go with Miro, check out that link that I've added in the description. And if you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free just through my link. Now let's get started. First off, let's get a quick overview of both. Miro is a widely popular online whiteboard used by teams for brainstorming, agile planning, product design, and more. It offers an infinite canvas where people can add sticky notes, diagrams, mind maps, and even run workshops or retrospectives in real time. On the other hand, Apple Freeform is a newer built-in app available on Apple devices like iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It's designed for flexible personal and team brainstorming, offering a visual space where you can drop in images, PDFs, sticky notes, shapes, and drawings. Now let's dive into features. Miro shines with this massive template library, integrated collaboration tools like timers and voting, and deep support for frameworks like Kanban, mind maps, and journey mapping. It's built for cross-functional teams who want to plan projects or run design sprints. Furthermore, Miro's app marketplace adds even more power with integrations and extensions, giving teams flexibility to tailor the experience. Apple Freeform, in contrast, focuses more on simplicity and the Apple ecosystem integration. You can draw with Apple Pencil on iPad, easily add FaceTime or Messages collaboration, and enjoy automatic syncing across devices throughout iCloud. While it lacks Miro's enterprise-level templates, it's great for spontaneous idea capture or visual note-taking. Next, let's talk about user experience. Miro's interface is smooth and easy to use, but it has so many features that it might feel a bit overwhelming when you're just getting started. Luckily, Miro provides plenty of tutorials and templates to help you learn quickly. Apple Freeform, on the other hand, is super simple and easy to navigate, especially if you already use iOS or Mac OS. It's designed for quick use, letting you add media or sketches right away without really much effort. But keep in mind, Freeform only works on Apple devices, which can be limiting for teams using different devices. In terms of integrations, Miro is way ahead. It connects with tools like Slack, Jira, Asana, Microsoft Teams, Notion, and Figma. This is really helpful for for companies handling complex workflows. Apple Freeform is completely tied to Apple's ecosystem. You can share boards through iMessage, invite people via FaceTime, and everything syncs with iCloud. However, it doesn't offer connections to popular work tools outside of Apple's products. Now let's talk about pricing. Miro has a free plan, a starter plan for $8 per member per month, a business plan for $16 per member per month, and an enterprise plan with custom pricing. Apple Freeform is free and already installed on Apple devices. There are no paid versions or extra fees. So which platform is right for you? Easy. If you're part of a cross-functional team needing structured templates, advanced integrations, and robust workshop features, Miro is definitely the stronger choice. But if you're an Apple user looking for a lightweight, beautifully simple space to brainstorm and share ideas across your devices, Apple Freeform is a fantastic free option. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.